what do you guys get when you cross a an ex rocker and an Amish goat? It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> On May 2nd, 2012, Stephen Westcott and Leroy Brown, his goat, started off on a 3,800 mile journey from the Space Needle in Seattle all the way down to Times Square in New York. Well, they will land on October 2nd. Oh, They're doing this it. all for a great cause. It's called the Uzima Children's Home in Nairobi, Kenya, which helps drug addicts and the children of drug addicts. Well, unfortunately, heaven is where that relationship, or at least half of it, is going to remain because Leroy Brown passed away. No. Yeah. I'd never experienced grief like this ever in my entire life. It was like utter, like my body physically rejected the moment. I was throwing up. I had wow. migraines. I'd, I'd never thought about, like, I'd never experienced grief like this, you know? But the journey had to go on. So, like most of us looking for relationships these days, he turned to the internet. You can't always trust everything you buy on the internet. Honey, he really, he sucks. bought a goat on the internet. Apparently, his new goat, Miles, is nothing like Leroy. <sighs> oh, it's not the same. Okay. It's not the same. <laughs> All right. Like, I like this guy. We're boys. But Leroy never said no. If I got up, he got up. Miles, on the other hand, uh, is more of a diva. Stop. Okay? Just, just stop. He's a real jackass. <laughs> <Just, laughs> right. oh. Okay. Yeah? I'm here. You sure about that? I swear, right, okay. I swear. Moving on. Moving right along. <sighs> Funny. Okay. Uh, when Stephen was describing how Miles liked to be catered to and always needed to be pampered, Stephen wasn't sure that he could be a good boyfriend one day. He spent so much time with goats along the way. So then, of course, I had to ask him if he had somebody special in his life. Oh, boy. Okay. I mean, not. I'm not gonna marry a goat if that's what you're asking. Oh, I mean, that's a whole different situation there. <laughs> After his divorce, he started reading this book by C.W. Lewis, and upon reading this book, he realized something about his relationship. Two things. One, I don't think I love my wife like he loved his wife, because that Ooh. was that was um, his his devastation that he felt was crazy, and I've never experienced grief like that. So then I asked him, okay. So you really must have a girlfriend. There has to be somebody special in your life. Guy, it doesn't matter. We're I, open. There, it's 2016. There, there's a girl I like. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't know if she likes me. <laughs> okay. Listen, here, here's the thing. Here's the I'm thing. I'm ready. My legacy is the goat guy. And that's not a legacy you want to have if you're trying to get a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I had to know if maybe the time that he spent with goats would make his future relationships a little bit better. So I got on the phone with a woman named Sex Dr. Heather. She is a relationship and sex oh, boy. expert. Oh, boy. Wait, 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 wait. Based out of Philadelphia. Anyway. Yes. I don't want to kill the fun. Is, is he <laughs> his goat? No. <laughs> they, oh, they actually do not sleep in the tent uh, together. He said that would just be weird. That would just be weird. That would be weird. That would be weird. That would be weird. Would be weird. Okay. Hold on. Sure. Sex Dr. Heather said that if, in fact, his relationship, his marriage ended because of problems with communication or say not being able to care for his wife then that could have been I'm not changed the only one who was thinking in the last Bill. couple years during yeah, his relationship not. with Leroy. Going out with the bang, so huh? I have hope for him. Bank. I hope you guys do too. No no goat jokes anyone? Actually, I started this segment googling goat jokes <laughs> and now I just I feel uncomfortable adding it any It got more. really <laughs> awkward. Would you say those jokes were pretty bad? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there it is. Oh. You're welcome for that. Yes, <laughs> yes. thank you. You're, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh oh, maybe I need to work on my people skills or something. <laughs> I don't know.